We learned the basic of HTML in last year. This year we will learn few more things. Hello dear students, I am Sanjay, and we will learn few more basics of HTML today. What is HTML? It stands for Hypertext Markup Language. It is an easy to understand language for creating and designing web pages. It tells the browser how to display a web page's words and images for the user. Some features of HTML are It is easy to use and understand. It is not case sensitive. This means lowercase HTML and uppercase HTML will be treated as same. It is supported by every web browsing software. There is no need to install a special software to write HTML code. You can use Notepad. Special software like Notepad++ or Brackets will improve your writing skill and productivity, but not necessarily. Now, let's talk about how to save as HTML document. This should be the very first thing we must do is save the file as HTML document. Suppose you open the Notepad software to write HTML code. Then, the steps will be. Click on File at top left-hand side of Notepad window. Then, click on Save As from the pop-up menu. Change the file type to All Files and save your file with .html extension and click on Save. Basic structure of HTML document will be as follow. Doc type, HTML. HTML tag starts. Head tag starts. Title tag starts. Page title should be here. Title tag ends. Head tag ends. Body tag starts. Here will be body content. Body tag ends. And at last HTML tag ends here. What are HTML tags? A tag is a command in a web page that tells the browser to do something. Tags are enclosed in less than and greater than signs. Example of HTML tags are HTML, body, etc. HTML tags are also called HTML elements. You can end any tag by putting a backslash after the less than sign. Example, title can be end by using backslash title. Now, let's talk about the types of HTML tags. First we have, container tag. It must be end with an off tag. Example, title tag. Second, we have empty tag. It doesn't have any off tag. Example, break tag, horizontal ruler tag, etc. Now, let's talk about, doc type HTML tag. The very first thing is the doc type declaration of the document. In this case HTML5. You should always use this. It tell the browser that the document is of HTML type. The very popular HTML tag. All this is doing is saying that this is the start of a HTML content. Additionally, it can specifies the language of the document if you want to. The HTML element is the root element of an HTML page. It is present at the beginning of a HTML document. HTML end tag is present at the end of HTML document as it indicates the end of HTML contents. The head tag marks the start of the part of a HTML document called the head. This section is not visible on the web page, but it carries important information about the document. It contains meta information about document. Title, script, are few example of element which can be inside head tag. Title tag. It specifies the title of the web page. The page title can be seen in the browser window tab and when you bookmark the site in your favorites. You can put anything you want to in between the title tags. The last tag, title end tag, means that the tag title now ends. Body tag. We'll begin the body section of document. Here is all the stuff is that will be visible on the page. Only the content what you write inside body section will be visible in your browser. It ends with the body end tag. Now let's talk about tags and their attributes. 
We already have an idea of tags. Attributes carries additional property of a HTML tag. We can use different values of attributes to have different kind of output. This is the end of part 1. Look for part 2 for the remaining topics. Bye for now. See you on second part of video.